Our adventure in Costa Rica continues at Rincón de la Vieja National Park. We are being welcomed. We decided to hike to a waterfall with a 10 kilometer round trip. We seem to have switched over into a new environment. We are now walking through the grasslands at Rincón de la Vieja. I didn't expect to see this kind of terrain, so it's pretty cool how it changed from like the rainforesty forest to this like dry part. So yeah, we're more than halfway there. The monkeys are coming. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are here at Catarata La Cangreja. It was a three mile hike down here. Uh, the trail was not too bad. There were some ups and downs, so it wasn't just all one way. So it'll be interesting going back. I think the hardest part is gonna be going back up because the ending, there was kind of a long down. So we'll see, and it's getting hot out, um, but it's beautiful. You're not supposed to swim here, but some people did. I did not, <laughs> um, but it is absolutely just gorgeous and not a bad hike. It's like we're in the desert here. We just got done with our hike. That was one of my favorite hikes ever for two reasons. One, the blue Morpho butterflies. And two, all of the monkeys we saw. I've never been that close to real wild monkeys and that was incredible. Um, and the butterflies were just amazing. If you're a butterfly lover, you have to come here because they were so beautiful. There was even one point when it like swirled around me. It was amazing. So we had a great hike. The sun is still shining, even though it's dripping a little rain. So we're kind of glad to get out of here before, before the real rain rolls in. But awesome, awesome hike. Highly recommend. Surprise, it's raining on the way home. And we're back just in time. And now it is a beautiful sunset. This place is crazy. As you can see, it is a beautiful sunset behind me. That's why I'm in the dark so that you can see that because my phone can't do both at the same time. But oh my gosh, just like that, the storm is gone. It is Sunday and it's Nordico time. We are going to our favorite coffee shop again. Nordico for some coffee. This whole time we've been here, I have not told you about the car they gave us. So we found out we had to pay for this insurance here. They require by law a certain amount of insurance. 
and it was more expensive than we were quoted originally and like it's like this whole thing but um the guy ended up because we were kind of annoyed and so mr kaplan was joking that he wanted an audi because there was like a bunch of audis at this certain place we went and so the guy ended up hooking us up with an audi and it turns out that it's a hybrid which at first we weren't sure about, but it's been so awesome because, I mean, we've been driving so much because we drove to La Fortuna when we first got here, which is like a four hour drive, We or three. And then we drove from Fortuna to here, and then we've taken car trips around, and we've saved so much money in gas. Gas is so expensive here. Um, we got like half a tank one day, and I think, I can't remember if it was like 70, meal colones i can't i don't know exactly it was like a hundred dollars though probably to fill to just do a half fill um it's really really expensive so we've saved so much money since the fill we're only like we're only at around like just over half a tank and we've driven so much so thank goodness for that that's been like a godsend and it's also just a really nice car um we do kind of stand out last time we had like a typical, I don't know if it was a Suzuki. There's like a bunch of cars really similar. So I do feel like we blended in better last time, but it's been really fun. So it's like a white Audi SUV. So it's like nice leather interior. Um, it has the CarPlay, which I don't know if most cars have now anyway, but it's been really awesome. Um, the only weird thing is it takes a really weird cord. <laughs> Um, so I wasn't able to plug my own phone in here to charge it. We needed like a car charger and Because we kind of stand out like a sore thumb. We also put our Apple car tag or no airplane air tag Apple air tag in the car in case the car gets stolen so we can track it We are here at Playa Contella. One of our favorite beaches. It is beautiful. Let's go We just swam on the sandy side and now we are walking over to the shell side, I guess, the conchal side, but it's actually Brasolito over there. So that's where the snorkeling is the best. There's some reef over there. And so we're on this path in the back. So last time we walked all the way on the sand and it was really hot and I felt like I was gonna get super sunburned. But then we learn there's a back path. So that is the secret here. So the secret is to go through the trees and then you'll end up on this dirt path in the back. So it's a little more shaded, a little more covered and hopefully you won't get a sunburned. So there is one exposed part and it's very hot on the sand there. So we came down by the water. wind is whipping but this beach is so big and especially this middle part you almost feel like you have your own beach to yourself like there are people walking but it's not crowded at all it is seriously so gorgeous the trees that like line it and the turquoise water this is one of our absolute favorite favorite beaches here's the w we are now on control side with the shell side. The all shells. And that is where the main snorkeling happens. People are all tented here. having beach tacos and living on the edge. Well, as per usual, it's getting dark out there, so we're gonna make a break for it. But we had an amazing day at Playa Conchal. It was incredible. We met some friends. We hung out under their tent with their pups, had some snacks, had some beverages. It was such a blast. So we're gonna start walking back to our side of the beach. <laughs> there is now a small river in front of us to get to the other side. Interesting. My legs just dug into the ground like quicksand and I got 
really nervous there for a second, but we made it across. It is now high tide. We are saying goodbye to our beloved Conchal. We are here at the Tamarindo scenic overview that I just found on Google Maps, and it's really cool. It's six o'clock, what are we doing? Watching the sunset, because that's what you do here. 